this morning. Pike Nurseries is here at Atlanta News First to tell us how to get our lawn and garden ready for holiday guests. Joining Gravir Denza outside. Gravir, what's going on out there? Hey, you know what? We're pretending that it's not like 30 degrees outside and windy. Kara Ziegler is with Pike Nurseries and she is joining us today to talk about getting that yard ready. Good to have you with us. Thank you. You know, this time of year I have to say that you look around sometimes and you go, oh, because summer is over. It's kind of the brown of winter. But there are things we can do to kind of freshen up our yard. Yes, there is so much that you can do right now to get your yard freshened and have it looking great for the holidays. Well, tell us where to start. Okay, first of all, I would start with winterizing okay. and cleaning up. So I would get your sprinkler systems turned off. You know, it's cold, even though it's sunny, we're not losing water as much. So things tend to stay really wet during the winter. So okay. get your sprinkler systems drained and turned off. Go ahead and start getting those leaves cleaned up. You can either blow them into a pile and mulch them and they'll biodegrade which is a great place to harbor you know good pollinators good mm -hmm. insects or you can put them in a bag and get them all into a leaf bag you use a paper one and that's biodegradable as well so that's the first step okay. and then you want to go back and get everything pine strawed and mulched and real nice and clean looking well let's let's talk about the pine straw because i usually think of pine straw in the spring as people get their yards ready What's the advantage of getting the pine straw out this time of year? Well, it actually insulates the plants from the cold. So if we're going to have a really hard freeze, that will hold the temperature warmer in the ground so that you can plant all these wonderful winter plants, and well, they you, do well. They are absolutely beautiful. So you can dig some of the old stuff out. So talk about what we can plant this time of year. Yeah, it is time to get your summer annuals out, get your house plants and your tropicals in, and go ahead and protect those. And then there are so many things that you can plant that will do great all the way to March. Talk about what we've got here. So first of all, we've got cabbage and kale, which are really neat accents that you can plant. Um, you can see some of them have some white in the center. The cooler it gets, the more they color up and kind of get that white. Uh, if you have a lot of shade, we have cyclamen in front. This one to cyclamen. It is the pink here. This one? Yes. Okay. And those are wonderful shade plants, and they're pretty drought tolerant, and they will just continuously bloom like that. Great for containers. So if you just have containers, that's what I would use and plant those with some of the kale and cabbages. And then pansies are next. Tried and true, we all know they do fantastic all winter long. The big secret with pansies is you want to get them in partial sun to full sun. You want to keep them deadheaded, right. and they need to be fertilized. I fertilize mine every two to three weeks to keep them continuously blooming. Really? So, okay, so what kind of fertilizer would you use? I would use either a six month like release Osmocote uh -huh. or uh, we have something called annual bloom that actually releases nitrogen in cold temperatures okay. and that's great to put in the ground as you're planting those. You know what's so funny is I love these colors but for Christmas I love the, the sort of the rich yes. deep red mm -hmm. which adds such pop for the Christmas season. And then when you're planting your pansies one tip is I would go ahead and plant your spring bulbs. So daffodils, tulips, underplant them. You okay. can underplant them in the containers or in your beds. And then what does that mean underplant? So as you're planting them, you want to plant them about two inches, three inches before below the surface of the soil. Okay. And when you get into that early spring, that beginning of March, you will have gorgeous blooms you that come up. You can plant them underneath these? Yes. Oh. And they will come right up behind them or, and it is a gorgeous show. And then you'll have that early spring show before it it's time to switch out your pansies to other annuals. This time of year doesn't mean that your yard has to look kind of like this. That's right. And by the way, this time, I think people are getting ready to get their trees if they haven't gotten them already, and you all have plenty in stock. We are ready. We have trees. We have greenery, all of your garlands. So come out and see us this weekend. We are festive and ready to go. Kara, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. you being here. All right, Rob, were you making a list? You got your list? <laughs> I am such an amateur. You know that, Gravier. So I was listening intently. <laughs> I learned a lot there. The underplanting, very fascinating. You learn something new every time Pike Nurseries comes on. Good stuff. That's exactly right.